What's going on guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Well you know that February is all about heart month and this week we are kicking off the week of love. Now with today's recipe video I wanted to have a little bit of fun so I challenged myself to think about a food that I would create for date night and create a meal with that food that could also be used for a really great meal prep. So I thought about it and that food has got to be salmon. So today's video is called Salmon is for Lovers for several reasons. The first thing is that salmon is full of omega-3 fatty acids so you're going to get a good boost of energy to help you to be dynamic throughout the day. Now secondly, people always ask me, especially guys always ask me what they should cook on date night. And ladies back me up here because it's not officially proven but I have never been able to go wrong with salmon. I think over 90% of women actually don't mind salmon. Every time I make it I get tons of compliments and it just it, and date night is always a success with salmon. It's really hard to mess up because of its fatty nature. You can just get by it with some sea salt, some pepper and maybe a spice and the fatty nature and flaky nature of salmon really helps to bring all those flavors together. And also as you're cooking it you can tell if you're overcooking salmon because it'll begin to turn white. So it's the perfect thing to make on date night because you don't want too many slip ups. Now the other reason why salmon is for lovers, it goes back to my first point is that it's really high in omega 3 fatty acids. Those fatty acids also help in the in, in the libido department. It helps you to get your groove on because they really do help out the production of testosterone and estrogen inside the body so you can get it on and popping and last a little bit longer for your date night. I'm just giving y'all the details of why salmon is for lovers. <laughs> for today's video we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna be making a spicy chili salmon with a cream dill sauce. Put that all over a beautifully baked spaghetti squash. This recipe is as tasty as it is simplistic. Now grab a pen you can find out what you need. You'll need some wild caught salmon, spaghetti squash, coconut milk or heavy cream, spinach, mushrooms, onion, garlic, fresh dill, and lemon. A couple of quick notes. Now I like to add in the lemon because I'll be using the coconut milk and a little bit of that lemon zest helps to offset the strong coconut flavors. You're also going to need some garnish. Now in the past I've used some edible flowers but if you've ever bitten into an edible flower sometimes depending on the type of flower you get it can be pretty bitter. So my go-to for plate garnish has got to be microgreens. Alright y'all if you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty then let's get started. First let's prep the squash. To make it easier to cut, place it in the microwave for 2-3 to three minutes to slightly soften, then slice it down the middle. Carve out the inside, then place the halves on a baking sheet. We're going to spray with a little bit of oil and add a pinch of sea salt and pepper. Bake the halves face down for about 40 minutes at 400. Spray a nonstick skillet with oil, then we're going to add onion and garlic. Saute for a minute or two, then add chopped mushrooms if desired, followed by a little lemon zest. Stir it up, then add light coconut milk and dill. Add a pinch of sea salt and pepper, then toss in raw spinach. Wilt the spinach into the sauce, and only if desired, you can mix in a little arrowroot starch to thicken it up just a bit. Continue stirring and remove the skillet from the heat to allow it to thicken. Season salmon with chili powder, cracked pepper, and lemon zest. I like to lightly spray the salmon with a little bit of olive oil, then rub in the seasonings. Spray a nonstick skillet with olive oil, then add the fillets top side down. Sear for two to three minutes, then flip them over and cook for the remaining time until your desired readiness, about eight to 12 minutes. Baste the salmon with the cooking juices, then remove the skin and flake the flesh with the fork. Now let's bring it all together. Add the baked spaghetti squash and pull out the spaghetti using a fork. Add the cream dill sauce, then place the beautiful flake salmon on top. Finally, garnish with microgreens. Great for a calorie conscious date night and even better for meal prep. Alright y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. Now the best thing about this meal again is that it's great for date night, it's fail proof 
but it also makes a really great weekly or daily meal prep. Now, before you log off the video, be sure that you hit that subscribe button, and then I want you to comment below also what you would add to this meal to make it the perfect date night slash weekly meal prep. Oh yeah, and don't forget guys to download the February Fit Men Cook Challenge calendar with daily challenges. Next week, we are kicking off our Hit and Smoothies Challenge where we're gonna be sweating it out, but also making some smoothies every single day of the week. So be sure that you get that from fitmancook.com. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, <laughs> bye.